Patch, today was a tough one offensively for you guys through the first eight innings and the ninth innings. Things kind of broke open. What were you looking for in that at-bat when you ended up tying the game on the home run, and how did it play out for you? Yeah, I went in looking, uh, just trying to be pretty selective. I, he'd walked Joe Ash on the first four pitches, and um, hey, he throws pretty hard. So um, I was probably I was looking fastball the whole count, and um, got to 3-2. And so I was, it was a fastball count for me. So um, either a pitch middle in, I was able to put the bat on it, and uh, I went out of the yard. So. It was good to get the game tied up right there, but um, yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe a couple days off, um, you guys, the bats. Uh, we just maybe needed a couple abs to get under us before we got going again. But um, I felt like some guys had some good abs. Uh, yeah, it's wins a win, you know. Um, doesn't really matter how, what it looks like. So uh, we're happy with the first uh, first W on this trip. How did that feel back in the dugout after the home run? Did it feel like you guys had struggled to score all day? You hadn't been able right. to get some across. You had chances. Did it feel like that home run tying the game? Maybe loosen guys up a little bit, like, hey, let's just go win it now. It's possible. Um, I, I feel like uh, the dugout was uh, pretty happy, pretty excited. We're, we, you know, tie game. We got a chance to uh, get some runs and maybe win the ball game and, and steal a game from them. So um, it's, it was a good feeling. Uh, it was good that it happened early on so that we could, um, you know, the bunt game was still there for when Nestor got on and uh, Harry put down a great bunt and uh, we just made some things happen. But, um, yeah, I feel like uh, I like this offense and, I, you know, I feel, I'm, I'm very excited about coming out tomorrow and getting some knocks. You mentioned the offense. How about your pitcher tonight, Tim Brown, and the way he pitched? Uh, it was amazing. Eight innings. Um, Timmy just came out and did his job, even though we weren't hitting. Had a couple fast innings. Um, he just went out there and did what he what, what he does. Got a couple uh, or got a lot of ground balls. And um, you know, Brownies. Since I've been here, you know, he's been a fighter out there, and uh, it's fun, it's fun to play behind him. Um, uh, looking forward to tomorrow. Skykes out there. Hopefully, he can do the same thing. But um, great performance tonight by Brownie. You planned a little bit of time here at Yogi Berra Stadium with the Jackals. How did it feel to come back? And when you go back to these parks you played at, and then to have a, a big, meaningful hit like that? Right. Yeah. No, I like uh, I like playing this ballpark. Um, I love playing for Joe. Uh, it's a good group of guys over there. Um, I don't know much about the uh, team here now, but um, yeah, it's it's a great ballpark, old ballpark. Um, you know, Yogi Bear Stadium with his museum here, so it's, it's a fun ballpark to come to and, and see some things. There's a lot of history here, so uh, uh, I've enjoyed my time here so far. I'm looking forward to tomorrow to maybe walk around the museum and see some things. Appreciate the time, Pads. Before we let you go, anybody want to say hi to back home? Anytime. I want to say hello to the family. I know my dad watches every night, but um, thanks for the support and uh, go Wing Nuts. Ronnie, tonight was a relatively low-scoring game until your guys got going in the ninth inning. What is it like facing a lineup of guys that you maybe aren't as familiar with like New Jersey? Um, it's different, and I think that um, a lot of times that, you know, hitters will say they feel more comfortable once they face the pitcher a couple times and sort of know what he has. Um, it's the same with the uh, pitcher, though. You know, the more that you can see a hitter's tendencies and sort of swing patterns and things like that, I think it becomes, you know, a little bit easier for us to know when you can go in on a guy or out or, you know, off speed and all that kind of stuff. It was the top two hitters in their lineup, Mooney and Gomez, that got to you both times for the lone runs you gave up. What was it about those guys that was tough to work to as opposed to the other guys in the lineup? You know, the first at bat, it was just kind of a second pitch, and he hit a triple, and then they bunted him in. And then um, I think for their next run, you know, the leadoff guy just sort of hit a ground ball up the middle, um, just well placed. And then they did a hit and run. and. It wasn't necessarily even a all that good of a swing, I don't think. It was just kind of a hit and run situation on a fastball outside that was kind of what he was looking for, and he just put it down the line. So, just tip your cap to him. They did the they did their job, and you know it's uh, good to be able to sort of shut down the rest of the lineup. How much are John Nestor and Brent Dean and their awareness of the other teams? How much does that aid you during each of your outings? It's huge. You know, if there's ever a time where you don't really, you know been unsure of what to throw, you know, to feel confident in what they're throwing down and to know that they know what they're doing back there, I mean, it's, it means a whole lot because um, even though that, you know, the pitcher's the one with the ball, it's, you know, you two are working together out there to, you know, make the best possible, possible pitch selection and then, you know, it's up to the pitcher to execute it. I know you're probably not too concerned about wins and losses, but how good of a feeling was it as a team, as a whole, when Matt Padgett connected with that baseball to tie the game in the night? It was great and, I mean, that's the... The great thing about baseball is that, you know, you got to get all 27 outs to win that game. And, you know, up until that point, it had been, you know, the first 24 of them had been pretty, uh, pretty dead for us. But, you know, we made the most of the last three and 
getting a win, especially the first one of a long road trip, is great. All right, last question. We're going on a little 10-game East Coast road trip. Is there any place you're looking forward to visiting of the three? I've never been to any of the three, so I mean, I'm looking forward to getting uh, all over, seeing new places, new ballparks, new people, and you know, just having a fun trip. Before we let you go, anybody you want to say hi to, any shout-outs you need to give? Oh, we actually got a couple tonight. Um, my brother who came to the game tonight, I haven't seen him in too long, so Jeff, it was great seeing you, uh, seeing your family. Um, Mick Wern, all the way from Australia, he made the trip out here, um, opened up his home to to myself, um, him and Annie out there, and the whole Springvale Lions baseball club. And uh, Nolan Sorrell, who's about 24 hours old right now, um, my host family just gave birth to him uh, yesterday. So Nolan, Ryan, Megan, congratulations, Neely. Um, looking forward to getting back and seeing you guys. Hope you guys had a couple of days off. You start this East Coast road trip. The game wasn't going great for a while, and I think it was a couple of pitches from this being a much different interview. What kind of a relief and energy did it bring to the dugout when Padgett connected with that home run to tie the game? Huge hit. Arguably one of the bigger hits of the year, I would say. Especially, like you said, first game of a long road trip that we got going on here. It could have gone the other way really quick. We hadn't done a whole lot offensively throughout the entire evening. You got to tip your hat to Ernst. He did a good job against us, I felt like. But uh, mustered up nothing you know, offensively. And then finally, Joe draws the four-pitch walk to get on first, and then Pad with a huge home run. Big time. Big hit and a big time for us. And like you said, it just changed momentum. We got Ness with a huge single right after that. Harry with a good bunt. Just kind of got us going with the throw in the right field. And Jace with a huge bunt also to add on that extra one. I always talk about add-on runs there at the end instead of a 3-2 ball game we got it to a 4-2 ball game. Do you think when a baseball team has struggled to score all day there's a couple of new pitchers coming and get in the game towards the end when you get in the bullpen and a guy is able to tie the game does that loosen everybody up who hits after them? I think so I think so and they had a heck of a closer Nello coming in the game you look at his numbers going in they're pretty darn good probably the best closer in this Can-Am league if I if I had to say but Tim Brown Tim Brown you know he's the one that sets the tone for us and to hold that team to two runs throughout the evening. He was tremendous as he usually is. And like I said, it was good to see us get a couple to tie it up and then add the two on and, and come out with the victory tonight. Cause this is a huge road trip for us. You know, it's a big part of our season right here, this stretch. And uh, that ended up being a lot of fun and hopefully some energy to the guys that we can carry over into tomorrow. Speaking of this road trip, are facing Can-Am team sort of a breath of fresh air or is it tough and stressful because you don't have a ton of scouting reports on some of these guys? Yeah, I wouldn't say a breath of fresh air at all. This team's a good team. Uh, I was talking to Kurt, the third base umpire tonight, and he said these guys are arguably the best team in the Can-Am right now. They've been playing really well and they got the momentum going and are chasing down Rockland for the for the league lead, but uh, we'll have our hands full the next couple of nights. We'll have our hands full in Ottawa and the same thing in Quebec. There's going to be no slouches along this trip. And then you throw in the travel to go along with it, which makes it even more tough. So uh, huge, huge win tonight to get things going.